hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be working on this 2016 honda accord so this car is my sister's car they just recently bought it from the auction and they want me to rebuild this so i figured why not have it all on video and before you guys start asking where is my f-250 and um the m4 the m4 is getting painted at this moment it should take about two to three weeks so i figured why not post other videos in the meantime and also the truck i do have it it's parked outside you guys probably can't see it but i'm still waiting on a couple little things for it i should have it finished up here very soon hopefully so without wasting any time guys let's go ahead and check this car out and we're gonna dive right into it because this is supposed to be a quick flip hopefully i can get this car completely done in about two or three videos all right guys so starting off with the front end Let's check out the damage and see what exactly we need. I do have to tell you guys that I already did a couple little things to this car. Like I already ordered pretty much all the parts for it. And on the inside, I'll show you guys later, I already disassembled some of the stuff. But starting off with the front end, the headlight is pretty much busted. The tabs are gone. If they were here, I probably could have saved this headlight, but they're not, so it's trash. And then looking on over here, this is pretty much the main damage right here, the rebar is crushed and it also got the frame rail just a little bit, which shouldn't be a problem. Once I get the rebar out, I should be able to straighten that section out. The radiator support is getting replaced for sure because it is damaged as well. And then moving on to this fender, it is damaged. So this fender is getting replaced and the hood is damaged right here. I'm not gonna waste my time on repairing it because it is aluminum. And then this side, guys, everything looks good. The headlight is intact and there is no brackets broken. The fender is good. It just, the gap is a little um, tight over here because of the whole frame rail section just moved this way a little bit. So it has to be pulled back and the support needs to be replaced like I mentioned earlier. So moving on around, there's a whole bunch of uh, marks. I don't know why they put these marks. This just comes right off. There's literally nothing that they circled. Maybe this little scratch, but I, I don't see it being a big deal. And I did look in the trunk already. They, the insurance left us a whole bunch of parts in here. Most of them are probably gonna be reusable, which is awesome. But anyway, um, moving on to this side. Once again, a bunch of bunch of these marks, no point of them. And this door, maybe a little bit damaged right here, but either way, this door is going to be getting blended because um, the fender will get painted. And then moving on to the inside, guys, both of the seat belts are deployed, and I do have two new seat belts laying over there already. It was cheaper for me to buy new ones than repairing these. And then the dash is, is deployed. I already took the driver's airbag out. I already put an order on that. It should arrive here hopefully in a couple days or so. Um, but pretty much in this video, guys, I do want to take the dash out because here is my new dashboard. And it is not deployed. It is perfectly fine. Um, me personally, I replaced about three or four of these dashboards before I started doing all this on my own. I used to work for, for a body shop and we did a lot of Honda Accords, so I do have some experience with it. But yeah guys, this is the EXL model, leather, it's got like 30,000 miles I believe, sunroof, and it looks pretty good. It does have navigation. Let's not waste any time. and start disassembling this dashboard and also guys when it comes to dashboards it is very hard to get some good angles of how this thing is coming out but i will try most of the time maybe have the camera up close so you guys can see how everything comes out and how simple this dashboard comes out
Alrighty guys, so the dashboard is finally out. It actually took me a little longer than I expected. I hadn't done this in about a year or so on these cars, so there's a couple things that were tricky, but I got it out. And here is the old dashboard. And here's the new one. So now let's go ahead and install the new dashboard. Alrighty guys, dashboard is completely reinstalled. Everything fit perfectly. And now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the SRS module. It's under the center console over there. So this will be a pain in the butt to get out. I already done this before. And I'm not gonna have this on camera cause I will have no good angle and it'll be super dark over there. But I will show you guys how I'm gonna replace these seat belts. So as soon as I get the SRS module out, I will replace the seat belts. Alrighty guys, the SRS module is finally out, man. This thing is a pain in the butt to get out. This, this bolt back there, see if I can zoom in. This bolt right here is very tough to get out because this right here is in a way, but I did manage to get it out, so it's all good. Now we'll move on to the seat belts. Go ahead and replace those things. Alrighty guys, so the passenger seat is installed. This is the new seat belt, it works perfectly. Now we're moving on to the driver's side. Alrighty guys, the driver's side seat
seat belt is installed. So this is gonna be it guys. In the first video we got a whole lot of work accomplished. We replaced the dashboard. Seat belts are reinstalled and the SRS module is out. So in the next video this car will be up on the frame machine and I will be doing the framework on it. All right guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video, man. I got a lot of work accomplished in this video. In the next video, this car will be up on the frame machine and I will be doing the framework on it. So be sure you guys stay tuned. My goal is to have this car finished in three videos, which the next video will be the framework. And then on the third video, I will be assembling it after the paint job. So that is gonna be it for today's video, guys. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like my videos, share them with your friends. And also follow me on Instagram at Rebuild with Nick. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.